And now, page from our Sunday morning almanac, May 27th, 1937, 75 years ago today, the day a highway was completed through the Pacific Coast fog. For that was the day the Golden Gate Bridge was open to the public. Pedestrians only the first day, motor vehicles the next. San Franciscans had dreamed for years of bridging the turbulent waterway between ocean and bay. But it wasn't until January of 1933 that construction actually began. There had never been a bridge like the Golden Gate Bridge, and there had never been a job like the job of building it. Back in 1983, Charles Corralt talked to some of the workers who had risked their lives at those dizzying heights. Men like iron worker Alfred Zampa. It was a thrill. I loved it, you know. In fact, you have to when you work on them bridges. Alfred Zampa died 12 years ago at the age of 95. But the bridge on which he and his co-workers labored still stands tall as ever, 746 feet to the top of the towers, and roughly a mile and two-thirds from shore to shore. The entire edifice painted in a unique color known as International Orange, a pleasing alternative to the Navy's original proposal of black and yellow stripes that would stand out to ship captains in the fog. The Golden Gate Bridge's distinctive appearance has earned it a role in countless movies, including the 1958 Alfred Hitchcock thriller, Vertigo, where it served as a backdrop for Jimmy Stewart's rescue of Kim Novak. A full schedule of 75th anniversary celebrations is planned for today, and we're told they will go on regardless of the weather. In other words, fog or shine. Thank you.